Welcome to Looking at the Markets with David Modell. I want to talk about tick charts and give you just a basic introduction to them. So what is a tick chart? Well, conventional or time-based charts, like you've probably been using, draw a new bar or candlestick after a set period of time. For example, you might get a new candlestick or a new bar every one minute or every two minutes, every five minutes, whatever you set it to. Whereas tick charts draw a new bar or candlestick after a certain number of trades or transactions have been made in the market. For example, after every thousand trades. It doesn't have to be a thousand, it's whatever you set it to. So let's say you're using a 350 ticks chart. This means that whenever 350 trades come into the exchange, a new bar or candlestick will show whatever range the price moved during that period. The amount of time it takes will be different for each bar or candlestick. All right, so you'll notice in the example here, uh, I know it's kind of small, hopefully you can see it, but the candlesticks look pretty much the same. They show the, uh, the, uh, you know, the high, the low, the, the same stuff that a time-based or conventional candlestick would show. All right, but there's a difference though, and it's got you know the prices, so it's pretty similar. But don't be surprised if the times shown at the bottom of the chart are not evenly spaced out. Notice that they're right; uh, they're not perfectly spaced out like they would be in a time-based chart. Because remember, the amount of time that it takes to form candlesticks or bars will vary. All right, so you might have to get used to that. Now, tick charts are a popular choice for day traders because they will often give you a quicker entry into a breakout. Time-based charts require you to wait for the close of a bar or candlestick, which could be much too late when trading breakouts. Tick charts, on the other hand, can give you a much earlier entry into a breakout because the bar or candlestick will often print more quickly when trading activity rises. So that is, in my opinion, an advantage of tick charts over the conventional time-based charts. You might get, if there's a lot of activity, a lot of trades or transactions, uh, you don't have to wait for the, you know, the five-minute uh, candle to form. Okay, uh, You'll get the candle forming or the bar or whatever uh, sooner uh, if there are a lot of transactions happening, a lot of trades going on with that particular stock or commodity or currency, whatever it is, on the exchange. Now, tick charts are not to be confused with the volume bars that you'll see at the bottom of people's time-based charts. You've probably seen them before. Just a regular candlestick chart at the bottom, it'll have uh, volume bars sometimes. As those volume bars typically don't tell you the price range, the open, the high, the low, the close, all that stuff. All right, so volume bars are not the same as the uh, the tick charts. And if you're wondering about brokers, uh, each broker's trading platform is different, so feel free to ask your broker if they offer tick charts. And if they don't, you might want to request them. You might want to say, hey, you know, this is something that you should offer. All right, so uh, hopefully this was a good, quick introduction to tick charts tick charts, and at least I hope I gave you enough information to decide whether you want to continue pursuing or looking into using tick charts uh, either instead of time-based charts, or how about you can use both, okay? You can have more than one chart. It's okay to do that, to give you a different perspective, all right? So uh, my name is David Modell. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube and leave a comment letting me know what you think of tick charts. Do you, do you like them? Have you used them? Are you considering using them? Uh, or maybe you don't like them. That's okay. You can tell me that as well. And uh, again, give it a thumbs up if you like this video. And that encourages me to create more of these videos. And also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done it already, so you can get updates whenever I put out new videos like this one. And if you want some help putting together a trading or investing plan, because you definitely want to have a plan, otherwise you don't know where you're going or how you're going to get there, right? Uh, then you can email me at any time at davidmodell at gmail.com. All right. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you again soon.